your chance to be rude Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead How are you doing this morning guys? One bearded badger Live With his first impressions Of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 There won't be any gameplay I'm gonna Sit here and Just Tell you what I think But then I want to show you The Gunsmith and that's where I might get a bit negative. So let's start with the menus. Okay. Right now, let's just go here. Right, so let's just log in and let's just talk about it. The menus. So here, you'd think you'd just launch TDM, wouldn't you? But that puts you into a, a playlist where it chooses everything. Push down. On I'm on PS5 by the way guys. And go to this open beta one. Now this probably change when the game comes out. But you got to go in here. Then you've got a filter on quick play. Where you can choose domination and TDM. Okay. Now. The gameplay isn't too bad. Um, dead silence as a field upgrade? No. But you're going to have to put up with it because that's where it is. Footsteps are very loud. Very loud. In fact, the entire audio is very loud. Gunplay is okay. It feels good. The colours and everything like that feel very Modern Warfare 2019. But it has improved from 2019, I would say. The colours are a little bit better. It's easier to see the enemy. However, when... You're not aiming down sight at somebody. You can't tell if it's an enemy or a friendly. The amount of times I'm being shot by a teammate because they think I'm an enemy is ridiculous. So that needs work. That does need work. Now, you probably sat there thinking, he said he was going to talk about the gunsmith. We're going to talk about the gunsmith right now. It's got weapons, right? So let's start with the let's start here. So we got the M4, okay? No, in fact, we can do it like this, All right? So you've got three pre-built class things to choose, okay? When you create one, and at the moment they've all got their own like dead silence. Flyable cover munitions box. You can choose a custom loadout, and then you're able to change it all. Okay, so you've got the M4 unlocked to use. This is early access, remember, and you've got the cast off 7 for you, the AK 47, right. The AK-47U you can't seem to unlock attachments for. So if I show you uh, what I mean, I don't particularly want to um, change my loadouts. So let's just put that one on for, for the sake. I'll show you what I mean. You go into it, you click onto it, you click equip, then you go to uh, on PlayStation it's square to go into the thing. And where it says build weapon, you can't Go to it. Okay. So if I go there, go there. Look, you, you can't select build weapon. You you can. You can't even move about on your charms or anything. 
It won't let you. Well, that'll probably change. No. But, yeah. For now, you can't do anything with that gun. Why isn't that deleted? Thank you. Right, so. M4. Right. Let's go into the M4. It's changed, changed my gun. Anyway, never mind. I can sort that out. Right, so. M4. For the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to put a red dot on it. I couldn't unlock a red dot, okay? And it annoyed me and, a, and a, a, someone else that was playing with me, a friend, who stopped playing it last night, I might say, as well. He didn't like it. He stopped playing it. Fair enough. So you can pick five attachments in the gunsmith this time round. Only five, okay? Wherever it may be you want. Now, to unlock the different attachments, this is where it becomes a bit complicated. And this is where I'm going to be negative about it. So, you'd think an assault rifle, right, fine. But if you put a receiver on it, so you have to unlock all these by using them so, M4 you start with, to get the Icarus, the LMG variant, you have to use the M4 to unlock that. To unlock the Recon, you have to use the Icarus, or level it up. To unlock the M16, you have to uh, level up the Recon. To use to unlock the SMG variant, you have to, uh, you know, use the M16. And each of them, we will change that back. Why has that not deleted that? Delete. Anyway. We'll change out that, we'll put my loadout on. Where's custom loadout one gone? Oh my god, it's deleted my loadout. Urgh. Anyway, right, so. We'll go in here and we'll, we do this, right. So, we'll change that to the Icarus, for example. Now, you've got things that are locked on here. So you can go to weapon level uh, just under the max weapon level. So for the LMG variant, it's level 15 of 16. Okay, keep that in mind. For the M16, it's 15 of 16. Okay. For the M4, it's level 19 of 20, okay? For the recon, it's, you see, it's level 23, so I've got a few levels to go on that one to unlock some more attachments, okay? And then for the uh, SMG variant of the M4, this is all of the M4, is level 15 and I'm on level 8 of the SMG variant, okay? And each one unlocks different attachments that you can move across to your other classes. So, yesterday I finally got to the SMG variant, this one used it for a game which unlocked the red dot sight 
I was then able to take that SM that, that red dot site. Over to the M4 and then equip it on the M4. Like I say, you can only have five attachments on it this time. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? I cannot put, say, ammunition on. When I try, he wants me to remove one, which is annoying. But that's the way it is. Now, when you come to your perks, when you pre-built one like this to get, say, dead silence as your field upgrade, you can't change the perk. The, the in packages perk packages now you get two base perks then you get given a bonus perk and then an ultimate perk now you, your bonus perk unlocks in game after so many kills then you get to the ultimate perk which is earned on the streak yeah no. I don't like it I don't like that. I have to say. Right. Now let's talk a bit about the kill streaks. So you've got a decent amount of kill streaks to choose from. I actually quite like this, right? So you see in the bottom left hand corner it says score streaks, kill streaks, right? If I press R2. I can change it from kills to score. So you can get it via score or via kills. Okay. Which I quite like. So say you were playing Domination, you could switch it to score streak. If you're playing TDM, you might want to leave it on kills. So you get your streaks that way. And then the vehicle customization is for Warzone. Which you won't see on this channel. Very you very doubtful you'll see on this channel. Yeah. So my thoughts, just wrapping up the video guys, is I don't like the gunsmith. I just think it's too convoluted, it's too complicated. People just want to jump on and have a laugh and enjoy it, right? So look, you'd think that was an SMG, wouldn't you? Look, they're your battle rifles. There isn't any SMGs unlocked until you get that variant of the M4. Shotgun, God knows how you unlock it, by using the uh, pistols, I would have thought. The LMGs, oh that LMG is unlocked, but then you, that would be the only LMG unlocked. Until you get the, the variant unlocked in the M4. Marksman rifles, oh, don't ask me. Sniper rifle. Someone's running around with that yesterday, so you must it must be pre built. But why they had to make it like this? It, it, ARs SMGs, you know I don't like the fact that you have to use the M4 to unlock an LMG, then you have to use the LMG to unlock a battle rifle, then you have to use that battle rifle to unlock the burst AR M16. And then you have to use that to unlock an SMG. 
and they're all the same gun apparently. Just change the the receiver on them. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. But they're the cards we've been dealt for this year's Call of Duty that is apparently going to be lasting for two years. That being said, that's been one bearded badger giving you his thoughts on Modern Warfare 2. He w I will be live. Why am I talking in third person? I will be live at some point today over on Twitch uh, with more Modern Warfare 2 early access beta. I hope to see you in my chat then. See you later, guys. Use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test